Welcome everybody, I'm certain we're going to play some Battle Brothers with the Legends mod in the PTR mod. I'm excited because we're going to be starting a new series today, and anyone who's read the comments that I put in the last couple of videos knows that what we're going to be doing today is the Cabal Start. I'm very excited because I am really interested in doing more of a dark themed magical necromancer build. It says that death is no barriers, others flee from its yawning abyss, but we embrace the other side. We start with three necromancer apprentices. Uh, we can collect human corpses to fashion new minions and then maintain them with medical supplies. But uh, cultists and other macabre backgrounds will flock to you. It costs 25% less to maintain. You cannot hire with the pious. And everybody else costs 50% more. And if all three necromancers die, of course, the story kind of ends. Um, this is the kind of logo I started. I figured it was appreciate, um, appreciated, appropriate to have the Grim Reaper. Uh, we're going to name ourselves... Uh, I don't know, maybe sect. I don't really care what like game crisis is we use. Uh, so stick with that. I think I'm gonna stick with beginner because this is a three star star difficulty. And um and uh, you know I'm I'm actually pretty terrible at this game. I have like two thousand hours in it, but yeah, I'm I'm awful. Now I'm gonna put a seed in here that I used now I did a couple of test recordings and uh, test playthroughs just to kind of learn the mechanics, look take a look at the the perks and whatnot and get an idea of what it is we're going to be working with and this is just the best seed out of those ones i didn't look up any special seeds or anything to get like a insanely good start this was just one of the random ones i was given um, this is the settings we'll use for legends and we'll start the Mac necromancer felt his heart crawl and rither inside his chest the struggle continued, but after a moment longer, the master necromancer left this earth. A death such as this was very rare, especially considering the age the once proud figure now laid before their students. The trio saw an opportunity. An agreement was formed, and preparations were made. The old master drunkenly fell from the table, animating as if a madman had tangled the strings of their puppet. Their flesh almost immediately went into decay. Great chunks began to peel and slop off the face. Ironic. Despite all their knowledge, they could not save themselves from the fate they had once imposed on countless others. But the new pet in the situation was still dire. Many students of the dark arts were now free from their master's trappings and could finally venture into the world. Their studies were incomplete, but each of them managed to master a cornerstone of necromancy. However, their practical experiences thus far have been limited to dead rats and the occasional vagrant. Everybody in necromancer knows that many hands make light work, living or dead. So why one frail old man when you could be three ambitious and young prodigies. The world belongs to the young and bold. With their tutorship incomplete, the trio take their new plaything and seek their own potential. A new pet and many more on the way. So I played this before with Legend some time ago and it used to actually just be one necromancer. They've changed a, quite a bit now to um, my surprise. You have three and they have different backgrounds. Um, we have one that is a preserver which kind of seems more like a meta school dropout to me. They don't really have any magical things. They, they're good at gathering stuff. Uh, conservation here is kind of one that lets them use less bones and carrion when we're making things later. Uh, this increases how frequently we can gain such things, but they don't have like any more spells or anything that I've kind of taken a look through and seen. Um, they're also kind of set up to be the only one of them that's kind of ranged. We don't really have great ranged skills, so that probably won't happen. Next we have Conrad. He is a summoner. Uh, he can do a little bit more. He can mold carry on, things like that. So this will be the first ability we pick up. Let's just make zombies. Um, we can get better versions of zombies. We can uh, extend the area which we can raise zombies. And a couple other small things like that. Uh, the only true, in my definition, uh, necromancer would be the final one Wilhelm here who is a puppet master. He starts off with possession, so he can possess people right away and things like that. He has a couple more magic abilities, uh, notably he has Bug Swarm, which I think is awesome. He also has Miasma, which I think is cool. He also has Death Touch, like a Wraith, which I think is cool. Um, so this was more or less kind of the main guy, in my opinion. Uh, and then of course we have uh, Generic Zombie, who doesn't actually seem that great. Uh, but let's go to Plindering. Of course, everyone knows Plindering. And see just what we can find here. Once again, we have people we can actually hire this playthrough. Uh, but like I said, 
anybody else is going to be pretty expensive. We have a, a fair amount of money because we picked the easy difficulty. But otherwise, not going to be super easy to find anyone who is all about joining us. Anything here that we need or things that we can sell. Look, I'm on the lookout for cheap pointy sticks. This one, maybe. Because this is... Wow. This is, of course, a, uh, you know, generic start. Actually, a little bit harder than I'd say normal. So, your people can't hit. They're not good at hitting. Let's see. Anybody not really wearing armor? Uh, we'll give one to our zombie. That's fine. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, but we'll just buy this. Speed. Everyone more or less has a helmet. Kind of. Let's... Let's uh, kick out of this town. And uh, I think we're gonna move on to the next. Um, melee skills. Good, but it's not great. The other thing that I kind of want to look for, actually, we'll look for it here because I wasn't paying attention to it. Do we have pitchforks? We do have a pitchfork. I think what I want to do with you then is probably put you in the back of a pitchfork. You up front, even though you don't have any armor. People are very weak, too. Something to keep in mind. Let's see. Some towns on that way. Let's. It's probably expensive to go down there. Um, let's pop over real quick and see. Hopefully, we don't run into anything because they're not really what I'd call fighting form right now. Anything cheap. Very expensive pointy sticks. There's a cheap shield. We'll grab it. Only a little bit more money than we paid for the last one. That's okay. Hopefully lots of people to pick for. Uh, no, not particularly. Fantastic. Uh, we need to find some more people. I mean, four is not terrible, but it's not particularly great either. Ah, uh, and of course, an ambition. Draw bloods in the arena? Uh, no. Half a dozen men. Seems pretty reasonable. Since it's about as much as we can have anyways, and we're almost there. Anything that might keep my very people people alive. It's expensive, but man, that would be nice. So we have another town to the southeast. Let's go look. This isn't gonna go very well <laughs> if we keep up like this. Not you. Some more bodies. Living or dead. Oh, yeah, I don't have the ability to tell me. So used to just being able to look and see what it is. Uh, don't disappoint me. So what I'm looking for, and I've seen in other playthroughs, is a chance for just a random dead zombie. And they're free. Uh, they suck, obviously. But they're free, so I mean... 
just cast Charm. It's kind of expensive. But he's a great digger. It's a crack catcher. That doesn't really bode for a great fighting man, in my opinion. Alright, let's see what happens when we fire this guy. Well, he's dumb. That's probably a good stuff for us. Um, interesting. Yeah, he does not seem to be bothered that we have zombies. Um, if you hire certain people, they're like, something's not right here. Which is very true. And they're very bothered by the fact that we have zombies around. Which I think is hilarious. Switch your hat, I guess. Yeah, that's weird. This puts us in a slightly better situation. Kind of. What else have we got in town here? Uh, we have a pointy stick. It's a little expensive. What about our... Um, human bros should probably get, like, real. Alright. We need to start doing jobs. these things. We need, we need to get paid. Uh, nope. Put that backwards. There we go. Is it the best lineup? No. It's not. I'll be the first to. Is it the worst lineup? Oh, no. It could definitely be worse. And we'll probably get worse. Okay, we can't take any jobs here, but I think we can at raid out there, so we'll go there. And hopefully we'll find out something pretty easy and cheap for us. Return item. Perfect. Everyone's favorite from the last series. 290. That's fine. Just kind of need to make some money. I'm not going to lie. Double checking to see if they had stakes. Nice. Uh, cheaper things. See him now. Okay, great. This isn't a bad little town. They've got a lot going on here. Let's see if we survive long enough to enjoy it. Whoa. Okay. Well, things got ugly quickly. Militia is there. Oh, they're they're running from them. I was like, holy moly. I wonder if I could. I don't think they're gonna chase me. Few poachers, rabble, bandit, rabble, poacher. Eight in an open field doesn't sound terrible. We're really, really weak right now. I feel like I can express that much. Yeah, please don't shoot me. Um, I don't think the zombie's gonna go the full distance either. Weapons are for the most part better than theirs, so we do have that going for us. Let's engage this guy, so hopefully distract him a bit. Good job. Thank you for what you turn. Fantastic. We're at least hitting blows. You love to see it. You don't love to see that. This guy's in a lot of trouble. Of course, our uh main people. 61. It's got a cleaver. So I'd like to stop that if we could. We failed to. Fantastic. Great start. Not interested in him. Yeah, 
Miss 263s. Let's go ahead and possess. Which is probably why you shouldn't have this pull armament, because then I can still attack. Yeah, that was that was a misplay by me. Fantastic wide open. Good good start. Fantastic. Let's um get behind a bush or something so you don't die. Yeah, let's get you there, I guess. I'm gonna possess you again. So one thing I want to talk about with our zombie here is they have an ability called Bite, which we've all seen zombies bite before. But if this is a killing blow, it will actually raise the person as a zombie. And we were so close. Um, you know, I was really hoping to see it happen. I don't know if the bleed will count. Because I'm not good at it. This guy, because I'm tired of being shot at. Also, it will help. Surround. You just stick back there, because I think you're really close to dying. You're dead. This increases his. It just says possessed. It increases his abilities, but I don't know how much. Also, gives him a bunch of AP, obviously. That one we definitely got. So at least we'll get to see it in action. <laughs> he's, of course, leaving because he's fallen. His friends die and then resurrect the zombies. Now we don't have control of him, which really sucks, but he is on our side, which is awesome. Okay, not the best. But you know what? It wasn't the worst. And we got some we got some stuff out of it. I'll take it. Right now, any victory is good enough for me. Those thralls would probably mess us up. Not to mention we got pretty messed up. Or what happened here? Okay, no more of that for you. We're gonna figure out something else. Same with you. You need something. Something other than what you have. However, with a little bit more money, we can head to town and kind of figure it out. Assuming that we can uh avoid all this. Oh now all the militias come out. Brave soldiers. Yeah, fight him. He's supposed to be protecting me. Protect me. Oh, and we're out of food. That's probably bad. Um, <laughs> oopsie, whoopsie. Yeah, let's buy some. It's terrible. Uh, we're definitely not a good one. These, though. Of shields. You do have cheap shields, fantastic. Because I think I'm going to want to put you in the front line, zombie. Even if that means giving you that. Give you that. 
give you that to the last person. There we go. Oh, decent. You don't have a level two or second layer, so I'll give you that. And this seems I'm hesitant to say it better. Seems better. Well, we're back to the safety down. We could go to the temple and spend a lot of money to do other things, but let's not. Could find a location. That's not a bad job. Let's camp, though. We have some wounds to heal. And probably some people that are kind of decent at it. What do you do? Healing efficiency 10. Company skills. Interesting. I was going to say one of them is kind of like a surgeon, so. Hunting. Hunting might not be terrible. A zombie can hunt? the supply efficiency. Okay. That doesn't look great. Let's do that. Save us a lot of money, and I suppose we could go hunting. With the zombie. Just, you know, just, just let him out there. Which one's hunting? Fletching? Nope, come on. It's probably super obvious. Hunting? Supply tent. It's not you. Keep kitchen. Yeah, it is. Okay, they just changed how this works. Okay, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff going on there. I'm not gonna read it all because I'm lazy. In borderline illiterate. Okay, so we're healing, we're repairing. We've obtained zero items. We have forged a squirrel. Um Give him a hand. Well, let me show for it. See, we're good people. We've treated two injuries, which is wonderful. Uh, wait. We're being attacked while surrounded. Well, at least there's other people here to help, I guess. Militia around us. What the heck happened here? There's a tree there, of course. Alright. Zombie's supposed to be out fighting squirrels. I don't plan on being much to any help here. Just FYI. Stabbing that dog to death. Must feel real proud. See? No. Uh, zombie, he might be particularly useless. Even though that's my dead master, and I simply don't want anything to happen to him. Drop some of these weapons. Not them, but me. Yeah, I mean, or any of them, really. Any person here. It's got to be an ample target. Let's see. We're actually winning this very easily. Um, I don't mean to sound so surprised when I say that. Get him with that point stick, please. 
You should have used the pointy end. Use one. It's gonna go bad for somebody, but not me. Surprisingly. I was actually really planning to use that. Interesting. Yeah, snap him. I don't like him. Couldn't agree more. Prime. He's primed for us. Fantastic. If we could a spear, that would be a big come up for us. Walking away with anything in this would kind of be a big come up for us. Just don't stab him in the head. Good job. Okay, well, I suppose it's something. Finish him, please. Gentlemen, sirs. Well, we did get some experience. And a cool bracelet. Sorry, necklace. Food. <laughs> Holy moly, we got food. Never mind, this was totally worth it. Not in, like, real food. Uh, we got some bug meat. Weird. A couple people with your fork. Placeholder. Okay, well, sure enough, it is. Squirrel meat. Take a quick look to see if there's anything I should sell or anything. Okay. Let's, uh. I don't really want to escort a caravan. I think these were like the only two towns I could take jobs from. Currently. Hunting beasts. Return an item. We love those jobs. Look at the pay, it's terrible. Yeah, I accept. A new show, but doubt it's not. We'll take a look. We'll take things slowly, because I'm no longer at the powerhouse that I'm used to being. Ain't nothing but the war dog. This fight, I expect to go a bit better for us. We'll see here. Probably should have checked out some things from people. Actually, coming at me. Interesting. I'm not gonna let you have the high ground. This is just not how I. It's not how I live. Kill dog, fantastic. Mm, I don't know if that's a better spot. No. I mean, we're greatly outnumbered, which is obviously an issue. They all want to dance around me, try to get to you, I guess. Gonna possess you. Miss, fantastic. Focus, you guys. Focus him. Let's get you on. Yeah, I think it's time to take you off that mountain there. Right in the trachea. Fantastic work. You love to see it. He's dead. D E D. Get him. Um. Sure. He's got a hacksaw. I got a wooden stick. Should be okay. Fantastic. Fantastic. Strong work from the zombie. What did you expect? It's not like we had a lot of 
Pop Prince will wait on your turn. Probably had a better chance to hit you anyways. Sweet. That's a free stab, son. Fantastic. Uh, I'd like to try to catch you. I don't want you to... Good job. Get away. Let's bite. Fantastic. So come back. You want to run? Wrap this up. Still dodged. Great. Sweet. Range on this possesses. Pretty awesome. And we can possess the ones that kind of resurrect you. Not sure why I would really want to do that. Fantastic. Oh, you'd love to see it all come together, you know? Absolutely great, and we got some levels. What a way to be. Some clothes. I love clothes. And let's go collect our pay. What exactly are we looking at? Ooh, the zombie even got a level. Um, let's see here. What 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 we roll in the zombie? Probably nothing great. Um, I don't think resolve really affects them. If you take a look here, we can see uh, decreased action points, of course. Curves. Hit points, much lower rate. Eats three positions a day. Immune to bleeding, poison, and most injuries. Not affected by fatigue, but needs them to equip. Not affected by morale. Requires no pay. Not affected by mood. So that negates a lot of stats. Health is still kind of one, but fatigue, resolve, who cares? I think we'll definitely take the, the defense. Which just seems silly. I think even both defenses. I hate the plus one, but I think it's maybe more important than the plus two health. Uses a pointy sword, so it's okay. It's a dagger skill. This is any piercing attack. Uh, if they don't have a shield, gain plus 10% chance to hit. It's not great. When engaged in melee and equipped with a shield, gain five defense. Purges an ally who is holding a shield, which right now is a lot of people. When holding a spear and a shield, gain a 5 melee skill. Purges an enemy holding a shield. Well, that's 10 points right there. You know, unless we break formation. Which we probably will. Pull arms. Eek. Yeah. I'm stuck between the two that give him an increased chance to hit. This one is if we have allies. This one is if they don't have a shield. Which I feel is maybe more going to happen. Wonderful here. Our summoner got some level up. Let's see what we have. Wouldn't be necessarily against gifted. Just because I feel like our people really suck. They really, really, really suck. Uh, obviously, we're not going to keep them with pointy stick for a long time. Hopefully, if we don't have to. We do get bonuses of scythes and things like that, which I don't think are that great. Uh, he does have cleaver mastery though. So I'd like to build him as a cleaver bro. Your resolve is awful. Does that matter for you? I mean, yeah, you can break, I guess. I like to get the melee defense. Cleaver, we're lacking that. Plus two is not really like to see either. Definitely take that health. I kind of want the range defense or the fatigue. Probably the fatigue. Just not great options in my opinion. We do have Wither. A magical spell that we could take. Uh, we reduce their damage and initiative and fatigue by 30% for each turn. We lose 10% of that effect. A great way to really neuter somebody in my opinion, though. Also, it sounds fun as hell. So while there are probably better things to pick, or just be student, so we can keep leathering. Let's get the magic spells. Magic spells are fun. Never mind, we can't. Does this not count? Oh, okay, we're stuck to this. Here, I would 
What do I know? We're not level two or three. We're level two, so I guess that does make some sense. Well, in that case, I think the extra experience would be pretty nice. Especially early on. We'll, we'll take it. Use well, friend. Mega belts. Um, nothing really special for them. This person also has a chance to have full arm or slings, but like their range isn't that great, so I'm not really sure. They're built for swords, full arms, or slings, strangely enough. Your knowledge of medicines lets you repack them into more efficient packages, increases maximum storage, and increases your resolve. That doesn't seem that important. Let's get you a student as well. I think the faster we get these people level up, maybe the better. That must be wonderful. They're clumsy, which sucks, but. Um, they're going to be back line with the pole arm, which I think is how this is going to go. Then, I'm not positive how much some of these really matter. So let's get your health up. Resolve is actually pretty decent. So I do like that plus four a lot. Guess we get move it's tough. It's tough when none of the options seem that great. There's some decent options, but none of them really seem that great. And the money wasn't that good either, but it got a lot worse. Why don't we have the people that aren't doing anything maybe train? He moves faster in swamps, that's kind of cool. Roots and berries, very nice. Hunting a rabbit. And they should have just got experience? Okay, that's interesting. I won't argue with that. Heck, he even leveled. This is my grave digger. Wow, look at that. Look at that. That's terrible. Um, everything's pretty terrible on him, I'm not going to lie. Let me get some more health, maybe. This character experience with corpses given his additional 5% chance to retrieve a human body or skeleton from the battlefield. That's amazing. When you're using a shovel. Where's that? Where's that famed shovel from the last series? I need bags and pelts. God, I wish that was a joke. Um, smashing shields. Uh, you know, I, I didn't really think you'd live long enough to, to level. I mean, fast adaptation's not bad, but his skills not bad either. or something I don't know I'm not too attached to the characters that aren't our main three but we'll see regardless it's been 40 minutes it's definitely time to wrap up the episode I want to thank everybody for coming by I hope you guys are very excited for this new series like I am I think it's gonna be a lot of fun to do something different I don't know if it's gonna be a super long series I don't know if it's gonna last 73 episodes like the last one but I think there will be a lot of fun to be had until we do something different so let me know your thoughts always great to hear from people please take care of yourself stay safe and I hope to see everybody again real soon Bye-bye.